Vibe, vibe, vibes, vibe tribes, vibe, 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 vibe tribes, vibe, 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 vibe tribes. Um, welcome back, people. We're here for another episode of Vibes and Tribes. Um, we're not quite at episode ten. I think we're at episode nine, guys. But we're about to be. We're about to hit double digits so um to everybody who's listened um up to this point and been part of the journey just want to thank you um but yeah today it's it's a good one people this is the honeymoon special um i've got two uh, married couples joining me on the podcast and you know what that means as well folks We've got some females finally. <laughs> we got some females finally. We've been listening to all of your feedback. And Beth and Lucy have, you know, they've taken the plunge and they're going to be the first females on the podcast. So um, let's let's let the fans know who you are. So Lucy, don't know if you want to quickly just introduce yourself. Yeah, hi, I'm Lucy. I'm uh, Josh's wife. Um, or just Lucy. Well, yeah, Lucy Benson. <laughs> 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 and yes. perfect. And um, as we always do with new guests on the show, you're going on holiday or honeymoon in this case. What's the first thing that you're that you're packing? So mine's a bit rogue, um, but the first thing I pack is some uh, hula hoops. Hula hoops. And I okay. mean like the circus hula hoops, not the crisps. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good, good, good distinction. But like not Story. just because I'm a hula hooper, but like it's just a fun thing to have. Like, especially if you're traveling with other people, everyone wants to have a go. It's, it's just a good time. I'm just, you can't tell hula hoops abroad though, because they're quite big or do you have like so foldable hula I have hula hoops? ones that clip down into small pieces. Oh wow, that's, um, a, that's a thing. It's a thing. Okay. Uh, can I shout out the uh, person who makes them? Yeah, go, yeah. go for it. Go Hoopspin.com. Thank you, Gail. Hoopspin.com. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Look, we'll put the link in the description. Yeah. But yeah, Lucy, thank you um, yeah, for taking the time and joining us today. And we also, we also have Beth. So, Beth, you just want to quickly introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Beth. Um, I can attest that Lucy does bring her <laughs> everywhere she goes. <laughs> and um, honeymoon, holiday, what's the first thing that you're packing? Um, so, I kind of have two things. One, and it's not fair, um, <laughs> Go for it. mosquito spray. <laughs> yeah, okay. Necessity. That just kills any holiday vibe. You yep. just get eaten. The second one is a good pair of slides. Good pair of slides. Hot. Or winter, I don't like my feet on public settings. Okay. And you're always going to be in a situation where your feet are going to be exposed. That's a big fact. That's a big fact. All right, well, welcome to the show. And um, for listeners who are tuning back in, we've got Josh and James again. I'm not going to put you through their, their introductions. So, yeah, with that, we're going to get straight into it. Honeymoons, honeymoons, honeymoons. So, first of all, congrats to both um, for being happily married for, for many years. I went to both weddings. We're both great. We're both <laughs> great. Great weddings. Do you remember but, mine? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you know, I remember bits and pieces. But before we even get into um, the honeymoon, I think when I was thinking about this episode, like how do you decide on a place to go and what does that process look like? How long did it take you to decide on your destination? So we'll go with Josh first. Um, that's a very good question. Mm. I think we both like very similar holidays. Okay. So we are very much lie on a sunbed. We're lazy. Yeah, we are quite lazy. <laughs> so anywhere hot, anywhere where we can relax so we were kind of on the right page to agree yeah and then to be honest it came down to how much we got given as wedding gifts because that's that's a big thing registry was so so how long were you not engaged for what 16 months 18 months. Oh, okay so you had a while to you had a while to had plan while. it you yeah so we had ideas but it was obviously dependent on how generous people decided to be. Okay. Lots of, we've got lots of aunties and uncles we're gonna between get, us. We're ourselves. gonna get to that. Fun, funding funding the honeymoon. Yeah. We are gonna get to so. that because I think what you guys have done is very yeah, it's, it's it's the way to do it and it's the way I'll be doing it. Um cough cough to anyone who's listening in future. Um but yeah James and Beth, James and Beth, uh, how did you come about uh, your decision as well? Um yeah I think we're probably the opposite. Um, <laughs> so yeah, just in terms of holidays, we like don't like lounging. Want to do activities? Want to be out there, seeing the local people and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, we just basically looked at what was going to be new experiences for both of us. Okay. Um, completely different terrains to what we're used to. Mm. And yeah, went from there. Okay, so with that, we'll kind of let the listeners know where did you both go so lucy where do you and josh go uh we went to the maldives Oof. um yeah. wonderful Pretty wonderful uh, <laughs> ha, ha, how long for that was 10 nights 10 nights yeah. that's that's wonderful and then beth you and james 
Uh, so we split ours. We did seven days in Kenya and did a safari. Jeez. And then we flew to Tanzania, Zanzibar, and did uh, another seven nights in kind of Paradise Island vibes. So, so that wasn't safari. No, yeah. that was more like no zebras, um, no zebras on the on the walk or whatever. Not on outside the, the room. Zanzibar. Yeah. That was all in the safari. Okay, cheese, cheese. So we got ten nights. We've got seven and seven. We've got safaris. We've got chilling. Um, one thing I've kind of got in my notes. Obviously, it's a honeymoon. When you're booking your flights and stuff, I know you want um, you know, the price you pay to kind of you want your money to go as far as possible. But do you treat yourself to like a cheeky like business class or first class? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just checking. I wish <laughs> the it's honeymoon fund is long. Yeah, you yeah. need to be wasting money on the upgrade on that. Okay. Everything else is upgrade money. James uh, just goes and sits there anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, you you'll kill your whole budget. Okay, you'll kill your whole budget. Okay, good to know. And then in terms of actually planning the honeymoon, am I right in thinking that you have to go go through like a guide or you you do a website because it links into kind of the websites you have at the wedding right ours yeah. did. so for us we um actually did ours the registry was with thomas cook so we mm. had to book with oh, them Pete. yeah so, so in, interestingly enough we um like it was like shortly after our wedding that thomas cook went under mm. and all of our kind of wedding like gift registry was still stuck within that so mm. that, that was a barrel of laughs yeah we actually had the whole thing cancelled and refunded by thomas cook about two months before and had to rebook each element with the mm. airlines and hotel i didn't tell lucy until it was rebooked <laughs> that's that's mad but um for those listening I mean, you know that every group needs a Benson. So imagine that being your husband. I oh, mean, we so got no, good. you got no doubt. That's her, that's her travel. Hack. <laughs> yeah. It works so well because I'm just a hot mess. Yeah. So. <laughs> What's the travel hack? Just marry Josh Benson. That's, there it is. I mean, basically, um, can't go wrong. Um, okay, so you guys, um, you went through Thomas Cook, mm -hmm. um, but you're saying you had to do everything separately. So how many different things did that end up being? To be honest, it was mainly just the flights and hotel, and okay. they were, and they went down pre-COVID, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so yeah, so twenty nineteen. This was just something that had been going on. High Street going into stores doesn't happen anymore mm. unless you're like sixty plus and don't like your computer, <laughs> I guess. And how did you come to the decision to choose Thomas Cook before they went down? It was the gift registry um, okay, situation. The that, okay, yeah. yeah. So, so what uh, is a gift registry for those like myself who don't know what so that is? I guess the only thing I could really compare it to is like a just giving page. You know, like if someone's doing a marathon or something, you're like, oh, donate into that, except yeah. they're donating towards your honeymoon. Okay. But what was special <laughs> about the Thomas Cook one is that you didn't have to already have booked the trip. Okay. So it worked like a just giving page. Okay. Whereas if you with, I think we looked at, a few others i think it was like virgin and kuoni and a few other kind of they say they're honeymoon gift registries but you have to have already bought the trip and oh, okay. people just like contribute does it really so it's almost yeah. like yeah, yeah. it's yeah. almost like debt collection <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chip away. so yeah. you kind of have to have the money and kind of know exactly what you want mm. before that mm. whereas this gave us the freedom to decide that later based on kind of how much was in the was in the pot so a lot of flexibility yeah. okay and and for yourselves we kind of did the opposite this is what i love i love the yeah, fact that you so opposite different. For your so we were quite cheeky but i would actually really advise this we went to honeymoon suppliers and said this is what we want to do we want to do safari we want to do paradise island afterwards mm. they then gave us like the whole package the whole itinerary this is what we suggest you do this is the cost mm. And then we said, okay, thanks very much. Let's put that on our own. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and we save saved like, bridge. of course. We saved probably like six grand. Because that's where and they got, make their money, right? Better, and got way better deals. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because if that's where they get their fees, right? It's by negotiating all of that stuff on your behalf, right? Yeah. But, yeah. Especially yeah, it's kind of harsh, doing, but yeah. You're doing it's safari harsh. scans. Yeah. Makes more uh, sense, yeah. right? Definitely. It, it wasn't absolute. Yeah. Look, to any honeymoon planners, look, we're sorry, but. Got to, couples got to do what couples got to do, you know? Yeah, I, I think that mm -hmm. point's right. I think it was because we had multiple elements to our trip. So mm. different pickups and drop-offs, internal flights, all sorts of things going on. Whereas I think if you were just going to one place, 
you don't really need to do that. But mm. yeah, for uh, us, there's a lot of moving parts. Ours yeah, wasn't definitely. like ten days, one hotel, all inclusive. Ours was like lots of lots of things going on. And five different hotels, th- flights, mm. everything. This leads me nicely into the question for both couples in terms of of planning the honeymoon. So, all right, you guys have decided on when you're going. You've got your registries and whatnot set up. Who? Who's who's taking charge here? Is it is it a joint is it a joint is it a joint effort or is there is there one captain in both couples? I think I think I know the answer, but I'm gonna ask you anyway. Let's take a poll at the think The captains are I mean, I've got a Benson, so uh, I can just chill. So, so just put your faith in Josh. Yeah. Josh. Josh is at the wheel. Do. Yeah. I'll make a few diva demands, but that's pretty much Again, it. Again, to be fair, ours is pick a hotel, mm. a resort that you like mm-hmm. the flights take care of themselves yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Price. So actually mm. for us it's what budget do we have mm-hmm. what's our priority mm. that we want to have okay is the what can we get to their one's way more broad and takes probably a lot more organization and just before we get to theirs but what about your itinerary when you're there so you're in the Maldives for 10 days um, we'll get into like what you can do, but did you have it like planned to the hour, or were you just kind of free, free like just catching a vibe? You're you're at your resort for the most part. And there's things you can do, but because mm. they're so small. Well, the one we went to is very small. Mm. You just pick it up as and when you yeah. want to do things, mm. and we'll come on to it. But there isn't. It's not like you're going out on a boat to somewhere every day. You're yeah. essentially waking up. In paradise every day and doing whatever you like whatever jealous you want. much yeah, it's quite, right. quite easy to wing it yeah <laughs> okay lovely and um captain beth <laughs> <laughs> go on do you want to tell us our, our itinerary of the trip no no no. so before we even get to yeah so was it was it a couple's decision or i, I mean i just called yeah. you the captain no, no no i think i think i probably actually do the actual doing of the organization like actually follow admin. through do the yeah. admin. <laughs> he's not going to do any of that he won't actually make it necessarily happen at the mm. end but we the ideas are both of us because we're quite specific on what we like and what we don't like nice and then yeah with regards to your itinerary then um you kind of came together on that and was there a lot of planning because like you said you lot are very active people so where they were winging it you knew what you was doing with each one of your days on your honeymoon yeah uh, sort of, research. yeah. I, I think we had a sort of overall plan. Um, we had two or three days that were sort of open, mm. and then we just decided what to do sort of on that day when we were there. Mm. But everything else was very much planned. Okay. Um, we always research like good restaurants, things to do. Mm. Like, Is this stuff you do together, like sitting on the sofa, like watching Netflix? Oh, yeah, just planning. Oh, planning. come we on. Love, and we like to do local things. That's our big... <laughs> just really um, immerse yourselves in the culture. So, so I say that. But actually, in Zanzibar, at least, a lot of what we did was we found a local guide and basically we did everything with him. Okay. So that stuff wasn't too much planned, but... Okay. All right, we'll, we'll get into shout that. Shout him out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want to shout him out now? We still talk to him now. Bless him. Zahor. He's, he's some random Hold, hold tight, Zahor. I don't have him on Instagram, <laughs> no, people. He's just yeah. having Hold tight, Zahor. He's very, from, very from Zanzibar. If you want a guide, he'll yeah, yeah, he's the guy. Everything for yeah, yeah. you. He's All right. the guy. Taxi, everything. We'll provide some stuff um, in the show notes. Mm. All right, so we're, we're coming up to the trip now. Um, and this is just another random thing that comes to my head. Um, the actual flights, right? So I know I've talked about going like first class and that. You know, on airlines now, you kind of got to like pay to make sure you sit next to each other. <laughs> Are you not paying to make sure I, that as a couple on your I'm honeymoon? I'm paying that because I am so scared of flying. I okay. hate oh, yeah. flying. And I have to like break Josh's hand every mm. time I go on a plane. And like, yeah, the day that we get on a plane, I'm not a nice person. Until, okay. uh, until I've had a, a drink, then I'll calm down. So you don't, take, you don't take the risk. You make sure that you're sitting yeah. next to each other. Yeah, yeah. I, ca- I can't take that risk. Absolute I'm, rip-off though, right? Yeah. The fact oh, that you have to pay oh, to ensure yeah. that you're sitting next to the Do person you know on the holiday. We, we have not paid before because we were yeah. just out of principle. But, but, like, yeah. It's two hours. But that's short-haul flights. Yeah. You're, oh, you're not, yeah, you're not, two hours. These aren't bootleg flights. It's not your Ryanair. You're not going on your honeymoon on Ryanair and EasyJet. Long-haul. Long-haul, you're always going to be together. Oh, is that true? You just don't always get a choice. So they may screw you and put you in the middle of a four yeah i have mm. two to either side which is so unnecessary yeah but you will always be you yeah you'll be together they're, like it's they're proper airlines so okay yeah 
Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. But when Ryan when Ryanair does that, I'm not yeah. I'm not yeah, really into them. Neither am I actually no. because I just I just sleep free time. I just sleep. Exactly. <laughs> I'll just see you in two Have hours. Have a breather. Yeah. Yeah. I wish yeah. I had your, you know, confidence in in the uh, whole flying thing. So but. Lucy, you say that you're you're scared. So mm. for anybody who's listening to this and they might be a little bit, you know, scared of flying, like what's your advice to them apart from squeezing your other half's hand? <laughs> yeah, there is that. Um and tonic. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Honestly, just get drunk. Okay. Um, and then I think also just distraction is the biggest thing for me. So You're watching I'm, a film. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching a film. I'm watching a series. I'm I'm just doing something else. Mm. And um, yeah, drinking again. For, for me to you, I, one thing I do on um, lift off and when you land, I always shut my eyes. <laughs> and it, I don't think I'm trying to sleep, but I just don't like to see that. Like, yeah. I don't like to see us going off the runway and like hitting it's the unnerving. ground. It's unnerving. Yeah. The landing's the worst for me. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I just, I just, yeah, I can't Just close it. your eyes because what yeah. you can't see can't scare you. Right. That's like my, that's my way of looking at it. Yeah. So if I'm just looking at the screen watching a film, that's all I'm thinking. I and could it, be to, anywhere. To quote Ivan Drago, if we die, we know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Let me not. Brilliant. Let me not put, let me not put people off. Um, Happy okay. <laughs> um, But okay, yeah. So if we go to the Maldives first, we, we get to the airport. How far is it from the airport to where you're staying? And yeah, where is it you're staying? So first thing, I would go back a step and just say you oh, okay. can go to the Maldives in two different ways. Okay. And yep, yep. our actual plan initially was to fly via Sri Lanka because that's one of the common routes that you do. Mm-hmm. We were going to do five days in Sri Lanka and yep. then a week in the Maldives. But as we were booking was when they had the terrorist attack. Oh, okay, so they man. basically banned all bookings mm. for flights. So we canned that mm-hmm. and just did the Maldives. So you can fly that way normally, which is, I think, research, <laughs> ten, ten, ten hours to Sri Lanka and then two <clears throat> oh, okay. to the Maldives. Or Dubai is the other very common one. Okay. And that's seven and four. And are both flights like nice airplanes? I mean, Dubai yeah. is on their biggest Airbus. With oh, okay, so cool, that's, cool, cool. That's one where she didn't even know we'd taken. Yeah, off, so I okay. didn't even realise. So yeah. I was actually stress. quite calm on that yeah. flight. Okay, nice. And, so and really nice. you know, it's they give you the hot towels and all them things. Yeah, and it, was, it was pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah. Who did you fly with? Emirates. Emirates, Emirates yeah. yeah. And um, like ballparks, like we don't need to know the actual cost, but was it how, how expensive? We're we talking to get yourself out to the Maldives, just just flights. Ours is a package, but I think the flights bit is maybe grand each return. Okay, mm-hmm. it's not the thing is it's the resorts yeah. that are expensive. And yeah. the, that um, is also peak for a flight. No, it is. Oh, it is, and, I, yeah, and I think grand before you land. And to be honest, yeah, I think I'm probably over. No, that's including the seaplane. So so after you fly, oh, okay. so you fly London, Dubai, mm. Dubai to Mali, and then from Mali Airport you go to the seaplane airport. Oh, that's why I was asking. Like, is each plane good? Because like, like, the last so the sea the yeah, exactly. plane is if you're worried weird. about not opening your eyes, don't do it on these. <laughs> Honestly, the back doors open the whole time. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, it's you know like those little planes where like people jump out of them on the telly and stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, like that. Planes. But like they're all lined up in a port, like like you'd have boats, but they're planes. It's oh so god. weird, and then it just like drives on the sea and then just like takes off out of nowhere. And then when you land, I mean, it's about an hour on this like rickety little seaplane. And mm. I was like, well, this is how I die. Um, <laughs> but then when you land, is that they call it, it was like something international airport and it was a plank of wood in the sea, but oh, they have to call it an international airport like, and it's oh, registered as an airport. And did you lot feel at any point that your luggage was going missing? Because that's always the thing I'm thinking about is my luggage, especially when there's like connecting flights and stuff like that. I'm, like, bit, touch wood. Yeah. It's never happened to me. Again, another travel hack. Yeah. When you're connecting, if you can, fly with the same airline. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. It's of course. when you're changing airline, stuff goes missing. Mm. Yeah. And I mean, on the seaplane, you take it to the plane and they stick it in the back. Yeah. So you you can always see it. Or also... If you for a bribe at the airport and you don't give them one, then it's never... <laughs> Another travel hack... In the Maldives. Which <laughs> actually happened <laughs> in Zanzibar. Another travel <laughs> hack that I have, um, and I, I'm not sure that anybody does this, and I'm not sure that I would actually do this, but if you mark your suitcase as fragile, then it gets put at the front so it will yeah. always come off the plane first why haven't we been doing that this whole time yeah so if you're worried about them like not taking care of your possessions and flinging it around mark it as fragile not only do they put it first but there yeah, they do they do actually handle it with care do but, they care that much um okay so yeah we've, we've spoken about what we're doing before we get to the maldives um yeah what was the process like when was it was it zanzibar first or kenya, kenya? First. oh it was kenya first okay so yeah how long's the flight Eight hours. Eight hours. Eight hours. Who are we flying Eight with? Hours. 
Kenya Airlines. Oh, raw, raw local teams. one, local things, yeah, no, decent, it's decent. It, it actually wasn't like it was. It was yeah, it was it's called Kenyan like, Airlines. Kenya Airways, did, did they yeah. provide like local cuisine on the flight? What do we even? I don't even remember what we ate. No. It was normal grub. It was it's Zeb- an airline, zebra leg, and yeah, nah, rice. Nah, 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 <laughs> it's nah. a big tourist flight. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a normal airline. Yeah. Decent flight. I believe that. Come. Don't talk to me like I don't <laughs> think it's a normal airline. I believe um, you. Okay. Okay. So L- London to um, Nairobi. Nairobi. Okay. Um, there for a couple of days. Yeah. Then again, similar thing. Smaller local plane out to the Masai Mara for safari. Yeah. Um, sort of ten seater thing. How um, many hours was that? An hour. An door, hour. Forty-five minutes. Back door open. Not back door open, but you're dropping off. At other safari camps along the way. Oh my god! Yeah, so big, there's a lot of like we, we were the seconds, so we actually only went down and up awful. once. Like so, a bus. But yeah, it's like a yeah, literally like a airplane bus. Oh my god! We and landed and the air the airport that we landed on, which yeah. was like our safari base, was like this tiny little canopy, and this man just sitting underneath it in the shade yeah. mm. next to a gazelle, and I was just like, okay, I'm in the safari now. Like, okay, this is. Crazy. I feel that this is serious. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Wait, so okay, so sorry. So just to kind of like bring it back as well. Um, with the airline booking, so even with the small plane, that all goes through the airline. So if you book separate. with Kenya, separate. oh, okay, separate. so you do have to book it separate. separate. So, get, okay. Our, no, our, that's quite a bump. Yeah. Mm. Our big, so in terms of London to Nairobi, Nairobi to Zanzibar, Zanzibar back to Nairobi, Nairobi to London, that was all Kenya Airways. Mm-hmm. And then we booked the local flight to the safari camp separately. And so then anywhere you can do it. Yeah. And then cost cost of that flight because you've just said it was a bump. Like, I can 50. see three fifty dollars. Okay. It's a, 40, like an, it's a forty minute 40 yeah, plane. Yeah. That's a bump. But when you've already bought your all about four different tickets, yeah, 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 yeah. You go, oh, how are we going to get that? Like we googled it afterwards. Yeah. And we were like, oh, that was one way. So it's three fifty dollars one way. Mm. So oh my god. Yeah. So you're basically so we paying drove another. Back. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. No, 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 no. But, but we did it on we purpose. We should get there because actually yeah. that's a really important thing that everyone should do. That was like one of the highlights. Of oh, so day. you can like take in the sights yeah, yeah. of like the whole of Kenya. The whole basically. of Kenya. It wasn't even cheaper in the end. I think it was like fifty dollars cheaper. Yeah. Was, you don't do it. But it's cheap. nicer to. You get like a four by four jeep picks you up in Masamara, and then mm-hmm. you drive eight hours through. Kenya. Oh, it's only eight hours. That's not even that bad, yeah. you know. Yeah, and it was amazing. Like, you went up and down Did the you have a driver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, my God, it's probably oh. driving. Yeah, like yeah. a four-by-four four dream. <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're not driving through Kenya. Like, this is Kenyan man picked us up. But, like, okay. we really saw how people were living mm. and, like, how, like, farms and everything, like, which I don't think you'd ever see because everyone literally goes to Nairobi or the safari and they just miss this entire huge country of Kenya. But okay. I loved that day. Did you, did you stop off for food? Yeah. Yeah, that was interesting. The, lo- the local grub. Yeah. We're going to get into that actually. Yeah, yeah. Let me let, let me digress. Okay, so all right, we're we're, we're at our places now. Okay, um, we're going back to the Maldives. Mm. Um, yeah, talk us through your first few days. Yeah, talk us through what you guys got up to. So when you arrived there, we had like a whole like like drumming band like welcome us to the resort, and I was like, well, this is bougie. Name, name name of the resort, please, for H- listeners. Hirawali. Um, Hirawali, okay. we'll um, gorgeous resort. Okay. Um, yeah, I still follow them on Instagram, and I'm just like, take me back. <laughs> but it, it was gorgeous. But um, it actually um, pissed it down with rain on our first day. Oh God! <laughs> but it was so beautiful. I just didn't care. It didn't matter. And, and and they like they were so like extra attentive like mm. the service level at the mm. resort was just unreal i do think that when i think more days I yeah do think that and so we had this bath um so we, so we had a water villa and they had we had this bathtub that was like on the the decking of our water villa and mm. then they kept like drawing me like baths with like petals in and i was just sipping my champagne in the bath watching <laughs> like like um stingrays swimming by and Wonderful. i was like i'm just living my best life <laughs> you can see how our first three days <laughs> i think for anyone who doesn't know water villa is one of those things you see in all the pictures where it's you go out from the sand on a big deck mm-hmm. you know, villas just on top of the sea mm-hmm you can't actually jump into the sea, yeah. can you? Yeah, you can. Oh, you can. Yeah. There's not like a, a break off between your no. room. Well, so there's a there's oh, a room. Right, 
<laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, you know. That's amazing. So your, there's your room, then there's your deck. Yeah. You have your lounges. <laughs> okay. You can also have a pool on the end. Yeah. yeah. Budget didn't stretch that far. Okay. We didn't okay. need it because we were in the yeah, sea. The sea. I know, and, and it must be so blue, right? It the water must clear, be so it's blue. blue. It, it was yeah. so Sharp blue. Like, I kept, like, literally pinching myself mm. because I couldn't believe how, like, beautiful it was. And because... Stunning. And because you guys are on your honeymoon, like, of the Huruwari, have they, have they hooked anything up? Like... So, are, Everyone there is on their honeymoon. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. But so much so, something they did for us, um, which they do for pretty much everyone there, because everyone's on their honeymoon. They give you these honeymoon T-shirts okay. that say Mr. and Mrs. on the back. Okay. And I forced Josh to wear it once for a photo, and then he was like, get it off. Well, but I, rags, I would do that. It didn't oh, make rags. it past day two. Oh, okay. I thought it was adorable. Seen. I know you've got it <laughs> hidden away at home. It's, it's, it's stored away, isn't it? I suggested <laughs> We wear, we wear them today. Oh, but, okay. The pod, but um, <laughs> yeah, just Lucy, even, I like you. Yeah, I would. I, I'm a fan of that. Benson, do more, Sorry, it was be a better. Step too far for me. <laughs> um, okay, and yeah, what? How was your welcome uh, in, in in Kenya? Where did you stay? Different. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> have any drums or bands? Yeah, yeah. No us, drums. So. I'm thinking coming to America when I'm hearing drums and bands. So what was <laughs> yeah. it? What was it like for you? I think we uh, because we so. For our first day, because so we landed at like nine o'clock at night. At night, okay. So it was literally book a random hotel to the random hotel. Then we had the next day there as well, mm -hmm. and then we were going off to safari. So mm -hmm. I think we literally had. We went to the um, Nairobi National Park and we um, hired bikes. So that was day two, right? That's day two. That's you're not, day you're two. not doing that's, that at nine yeah, p.m. That's, yeah, that's, not that's, that's, that's day two. There's, okay. no, there's no welcome oh, anything. Okay. It's literally yeah, to the hotel, to local check in, local grub across the road. The, the hotel's restaurant was shut. Mm. Went to the most local cafeteria. The quickest place seen. that you could get to and get literally. back. <laughs> Ate there. Food was decent. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's, the, what's the local cuisine like? I, I, I don't keep even making know how jokes. To describe it. Yeah. Nutritious. Yeah. They're based on um, like lots of veg high and nutrients. Oh really? Yeah, just... I would have loved I, that. I would say high nutrients. I wouldn't say low on flavour, but like their whole rotted gig... African country low on no, flavour. Still... Kenya. So it's, their it's whole more gig sustenance. Is to fill everyone up, yeah. right? Beef, okay. cassava, and all those sort. So like stodgy. Yeah. Oh, like eba, really? and, like pounded yam, yeah, and but not oh. too. It's not flavoursome like our grub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, yeah whereas yeah. like Zanzibar is like spice capital of Africa, so it was like completely different. Mm. So okay, so that, that's good that you did it that way around. Because yeah. imagine you, <laughs> imagine you started at Zanzibar and then you went to that. And um, Maldives, did you did you try local cuisine? Is it or is it like very tourist heavy? Because you say everyone's on honeymoons. So it's, <coughs> there's variety. It's all inclusive. Okay. Oh, say, lovely. It generally always will be in these places because oh, yeah. is it is, is it for all the Maldives? Generally, it will be. Yeah. Okay. You can get. Because I've heard like there's places where you go to a restaurant, it's like three hundred, well, no, it's like three hundred dollars. So, or I mean, you can, you can do no all inclusive. Okay, but you're a lunatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or, or a millionaire. Or two, you've, well, but yeah. yeah, but if you're a millionaire, you're not worried. You're all yeah, inclusive yeah, of course, immediately. Of course. So okay. you can do it the other way. Okay. And I think in some resorts they will do it the other way. But you know, yours was all inclusive. So yeah. how many restaurants were there at your there's, resort? There's one main one. Okay, where they changed. They change it up each time. They will okay. do local stuff sometimes. And okay. there's, there's a lot of local fish. Like, yeah, all so, that sort all, of thing. so that's probably what's the biggest thing. There's a lot of fish because they go fish it. So right. while That's it's, amazing. Because mm. while they don't necessarily have loads of things that you just that we would associate as their cuisine, it's just everything's fresh. Okay. And the standards have to be high. Yeah. So all the fish is caught daily. There's things like sushi every day. Yes. Yeah. Oh, amazing. sushi. Yeah, oh, and it's, so and it's so like, slappers. You, you go to some places and you think sushi buffet. Mm, bit skeptical. It, it was unreal. Oh. It's made fresh. I love sushi now. They have day. like Michelin style chefs there. Yeah. But okay. they, then there, there was like a, um, there was like the waterfront restaurant, uh, which we went, I think a couple of times. But what was like the real special thing was the under the sea restaurant they had there. Mm. And that, that was an extra charge and it yeah. was a spenny, spenny charge. But worth, it, worth it though? We should do it. They, yeah. like you're, it, it was going to go there once. Mm. Do, yeah. It's one, yeah, it seems a lot, but if you don't do it, you'll regret because. Mm. Yeah. It, it was amazing. And so they the, even had like a um, marine biologist coming round, like explaining all the different fish and stuff. I, yeah, loved it. I was just like, bring me my food. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is like a random thing for me, but I'm imagining like the Maldives is like a remote place. Mm. Like for someone like me, like I love a snack. 
So when I'm on holiday, like I'm not saying I'm going to a vending machine. I might go to a little corner shop down the road to get some chocolate and crisps. But they have like, all that stuff. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I've just imagined that. They, they, have, they have like um. <laughs> We had snacks in the room, yeah. and then you okay. can get room service. And, and it's all inclusive as well, right? Yeah, so you're not yeah, getting yeah. charged on anything. They have like an American diner where if someone wants a pizza, they can get it At done. Like and 3 I'm pretty, AM, you can I'm have pretty sure if you wanted something that wasn't overly ridiculous, you could probably get it. Oh, okay, we nice. just We're not very demanding. demanding, whereas you can tell some of the people would be. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you are isolated to where you are. Mm. Okay. It's, all the mornings is is hundreds of little islands mm -hmm. that you can walk across in five minutes. So did you see like the same people every day? Yeah, we were lucky because we went early-ish in the season. Mm -hmm. Place was maybe third, full, mm -hmm. I would okay. say. And it just, at times, you are just the only people. Okay, so um, just before we go on to like, the, food that, the food that you had, so it's a lot of seafood in mm -hmm. the Maldives. Um, I'm a guy who likes meat. Was there, is there chicken options? Is there beef yeah. options? There's, is there meat there's options? There's anything you could want. <laughs> okay. But what something I will say is I have quite a few dietary requirements. Yeah. I can't have gluten or dairy mm. and I don't eat meat. Mm -hmm. Um, so basically, I'm a bloody nightmare. <laughs> like any time that Beth cooks for me, she's like, "Oh god." But um, they were so good, okay. so so accommodating. Yeah, yeah um, And I had just the most incredible food I've ever had. So is that is it a case where you're letting them know like a day before? Okay, tomorrow, or is it, did you you just told them before you come? These yeah. are my dietary requirements, and then and it was all sorted. Like, so and whether it was like a a la carte type um, restaurant or if it was like the breakfast buffet, there was always just so many options mm. and like really good options. Mm. It was yeah, so good. And I think that's something like traveling with dietary requirements can be quite scary. Of course, yeah, because you can go somewhere and be like, I can't eat here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's something that like before I had this, like I used to take it for granted. But yeah, 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 yeah. this was a. Uh, I feel like the bougie of it, they kind of have to be you get what you, you, get, yeah. you, get, you get you get what you pay for. Yeah. The classic the classic case of that. But look, for those of you who do have dietary requirements, look, Maldives might be your spot. <laughs> it might it might it might have to, you know, remortgage and them things, <laughs> but Literally. it might be your spot. Budget spots are available <laughs> for gluten free travel also. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll cover those in um in other podcasts. So yeah, um on to Kenya. Um you you've spoken a little bit about the food. What we're saying, not great. No, the food was very good. Oh, okay, so the food was good. good. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, okay. to be very clear, it's just like the type. Just, okay. We had local food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah what types of food was it? Choice. Literally everything. Like a lot of meat. A lot of meat. Mm. Um, so obviously there's game. So one of the restaurants we went to is called Carnivore. Okay. Alligator, ostrich. Okay. Wildebeest. Like it's Carnivore, like um, a chain. I want to say that I've heard of it. I've no idea. Okay. Um, okay. Think about Carnivore. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> okay, but you've had you had alligator. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of oh, was like yeah. an unlimited barbecue buffet, uh, buffet and you literally just picked every meat and they just made it fresh for you there. Wow. And there was like every game in the outback you could imagine was on that menu. Okay. It was crazy. Buffing. Alligator and, was nice. Mm. And then so that's Kenya. Mm -hmm. What was the food like in Tanzania? <laughs> Outrageous. Yeah. Honestly. Like again, Spice Island, so they have they call it Spice Island. Spice Island. Mm. So they have I thought it was called Paradise Island. So it's called Paradise Spice, Spice Island. Island. The Spice Island. Oh, there's so two. It's the hub oh, of Spice. <laughs> oh. So like this culture is it it's had a terrible history actually because it kept getting taken over by dictators because of the wealth of its spices. Oh, okay, okay. Also like, its location. Yeah. Okay, so to, just to put you on the spot, tell me tell me a spice that I would know that's come from there. Right <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I, don't so I know. thought you might know. No, I no, thought no, they might have told you. Well, I thought the reason told you. Is, I think it's been taken over by the British, the French. Mm. Like Oman ruled it for a bit. Mm. Um, I don't know who else. So, like just literally all sorts of different countries. So you've got yeah. different sort of influences in terms mm -hmm. of the food, the culture. Mm -hmm. So that's why they have over time planted everything yeah and the earth so, is rich and the earth is rich and the hotel we I don't know if you can call it a hotel the place we were staying was just outrageous okay it was like five villas we don't like big resorts mm -hmm. so we're all opposite on this table yeah chic. Yeah. It's chic. we were like in a this hotel we had like five separate villas and you basically had like your own butler but so it's a whole hotel just for you pretty much yeah, yeah, so yeah, like yeah the I ratio was like one to ten staff like okay. one guest ten staff a madness and every day they pretty much just said like, what do you want for breakfast? Where do you want it? What time? And then you just 
said or like that's a bit too much for me i don't i don't want to think you get used to it okay yeah yeah yeah. it was wild is they'll give you a sort of menu okay so you just say today we're eating by the beach this is what i want this is the time i want it and they just do it and was yours um was it all inclusive as well okay so it was yeah yeah. but so so, but went similar all inclusive and that is definitely the way to go i think on a honeymoon but just not buffet. Not buffet. Okay, so, so they're yeah. cooking something that's off of a yeah. menu yeah. for you. Yeah, or you'd literally be like, I want barbecue pure prawns, and they'd be like, cool, we're going to get them for you today. Oh, okay, and what was the snack situation like? So we, we got there at like 12.30. At, at, in the morning, a.m.? Okay, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a.m. Yeah. And, night. and they were like, oh, are you hungry? I was like, yeah, I'm a bit peckish. And they were like, oh, we'll make you something, fish and chips. But like their fish and chips are like fresh fish, they battered it. Mm. Um, yeah, just lovely. Just that like platter came in of this <laughs> entire fish. I feel like they just caught. It's ridiculous. On like this bed of like, fries and then just like. It sounds like, like your dream because Jay. Oh, it, was, it was great. I was I was eating very the very. The way well. we ate was that we went we left our hotel for one night to go and eat somewhere else. Which mm. was like one of the best restaurants on the island. Mm. Not carnival, not carnival. No, no, that was in Kenya. Different. Okay, sorry. It's called so the Rock. Okay, so the Rock. It's a, it's a, it's a restaurant that's um, owned by Dwayne Johnson. A, you have to get a boat for a boat too. So it's, a, okay. it's a rock in the middle of the ocean. Okay, you have to get a boat there. She and missed that gag, by the way. Totally went, yeah, over, totally it. went overhead. Sorry, it. sorry, funny. but she just kept it. Oh hey, on my own podcast, you know. No, I'm joking. But sorry, carry on, carry on. That's my fault. That's my fault. Sorry, carry on, carry on, carry on. Anyway, we ordered starters and we had them. We were like, this is not even it. Went back to our hotel. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we went there, we were like, oh, we're really sorry. We know we weren't eating tonight, but do you have anything? They were like, of course. What oh, they want? got you. They oh, got God, you. They had us. I think it's back. probably top two best. So what's the name? What's the, what is the name yeah. of this hotel? So obviously we'll share it. If, Anna if, of if, if, Zanzibar. Pardon? Anna of Zanzibar. Anna of Zanzibar. Mm. And um, I suppose this is a question to both couples. So you're both in um, quite small locations. There's loads of staff. With the other couples, I'm assuming yours was a lot of honeymoon people as well in the other five. Oh, you didn't, didn't talk to them. them? So my question was going to be, were you talking to other couples? No, no. it was just no. the two of you. We don't like other people. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Right, okay so that's so that's one thing you lot have in common. Yeah. No talking to any other couples. So it's just like the little head nod when you see them in the morning or whatever. Not even. Not even. We, we actually make friends on holiday. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. this was but a hotel where everyone ate whenever they wanted, right? So okay. not there bumping was no lunchtime. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, basically yeah. had this whole hotel to yourself, it felt like. Okay. Which was wild. All right. Yeah. I think we. Be careful how I say this. Some of the people at the resort where we were, because it was quite high end, they were very spoiled. It was yeah. so it annoying. Came, <laughs> it actually comes across. So there's a difference between what they're saying where like that's the experience you've gone for mm. they're offering to you you're being very grateful mm. to this is what they expect to demanding Madness. above and beyond what is actually probably okay so yeah. like, for example you have to walk 20 seconds from your water villa to the breakfast people are calling up demanding a buggy comes and gets them that's a mad thing blocking up the road for everybody else yeah that sort of stuff pisses me off yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. so I'm looking at these people I don't want to make friends with them yeah and now these people like UK based US based like let's put them on blast it's where, just, where do you think they're from uh, it's just it's a whole mix it's, it's a, people yeah. are there for Brits everyone. abroad but, the thing is, but also the kids they're, they're young so it's not like they're you know they have a reason why they need the buggy because mm. obviously if you do like yeah, yeah, you do fair play, buggy. but like they they were just being divas, yeah. mm. and and it was happening all across the resort. People were just like refusing to kind of lift a finger, and it's like I know we're lazy, but that's another level. And like we're lazy, but we're very polite. Mm. And I think it's when there's people being impolite that's yeah. something I kind of just don't have any time for. I think we probably felt very privileged to be there as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. people probably it's a once in a lifetime normal. thing. That's not nor- that's their normality, and they're mm. they're just expectant of certain things I yeah, yeah i hear you to realize um all right so that leads us nicely into activities um across both trips so i feel like you lot did more so yeah give us give us the highlights from from kenya and zanzibar yeah just to be clear for the listeners what you did where so obviously you did the safari in so kenya yeah, yeah. safari is unreal um yeah <laughs> you just have to go basically okay. I, I think everybody should did go. you feel like the black david attenborough when you not, was you, not was even, you narrating to beth no nah, no so i've been before <laughs> oh, okay actually, so it was her okay. first time so maybe yeah. she should tell you how, how <laughs> for her. no honestly this place i feel sorry sorry just for context we landed 
we're getting driven to the to the camp and she's just gassed by gazelles. Like she's not seen any proper animals. Yeah. She's going mad for gazelles. Yeah. Gazelles Gazelle are, is a proper animal. But there's just a million. <laughs> They're dead. Like <laughs> someone someone who's been to safari knows yeah. there's a million of gazelles. Oh, I've you didn't know. Before. Okay. Yeah, when okay. would you see no. a gazelle like, okay. in my life? Zoo tycoon. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? Like that's it. So I land and there's gazelles just running by the air airport the gazebo thing and i'm just like hang about yeah that's a gazelle so i'm gassed the jeep picks us up we go to our um which was called um hemingway's old seki old seki hemingway's mm-hmm. uh, unbelievable place to do your safari we'll link it we'll link it conservation so it wasn't like super touristy like mm-hmm. some of the safaris and we got bride went free what, what does that mean? As in, as a bride, oh. I went free. Oh, okay. We were on our honeymoon, which honestly, the price was expensive, so half of that was ideal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And then we got there, and there's like eight tents, tents. Can I just say, by the way, sorry to cut Beth out, she said that it's expensive, so I've known, and this is just like a standard safari, I'm not even going to put put them on the spot, I've known safaris can cost up to like 15k, so when you say bride went free, like, you, you're saving some change. Crazy change you're saving. Okay. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't all that. Though. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, but look, we'll put the link in the bio. Yeah, you can, you can check like the gorilla trek in 15k. Yeah, have to get I that think we, we were, we paid like 2k. Okay. Um, three nights. With her free for three nights. Okay. So it should have been so, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so sorry, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so we arrived, so it's eight tents, and, and these tents are like obviously luxury mm. uh, rooms. Is there a shower in them? Yeah, yeah. Like, in a tent? It's not a tent. It's, it's, not it's a called a tent, but it's not a tent. Okay, electricity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aircon. It's a hotel room. It's a okay. okay. <laughs> hotel room, but in a... Luxury tent. They're trying to keep the conservation of the environment, mm. right? So, mm. like, and then you, like, have this all gorgeous decking. But, like, to put into context of you, you are in the middle of the bush. So, mm. when it gets dark, you're not allowed to leave your room. You have to, like, flash a torch because there's animals just walking in and out your... So, can they get into your room? Of course. Yeah. They say, huh? if you hear paws on your decking in the middle of the night, like, paws on your decking then you should be worried but if you hear hooves you're all right so you're basically we hear hooves and we're like oh it could be a giraffe could be a zebra that's okay but as soon as you hear like something that sounds like a paw it could be like a lion an elephant like stamping the camp this but it's fine yeah obviously what do fine. you mean it's fine that's fine. not no, fine, fine. i'm just fine. letting you know this this place is it's, wild in that sense just, you are yeah. with the animals like i can't explain it like it's no there's no uh, like zoo type experience you get up you have breakfast and you see a stampede of elephants walking past your no nah, that's not for me you know i just feel like no, these I things no nah, this is like that. this is beef waiting to happen no. like for me i'm a practical man you see all skydiving all them things no i'm not jumping out of plane i ain't standing next to mufasa and them no, man that's, that's different no. though because i'd want to do the animals i'm not get, even getting on the plane yeah that's so. true the but you're saying so it was safe care about you you sure yeah. it's, it's safe 100%. Like, they don't care. So why are they saying if you hear pause? It's just... Just don't leave your tent. Yeah, so oh, just, oh, oh that's what they say. Oh, they say don't... So, yeah, yeah. so yeah, they can't get it. into it? No, no, well, no, no. Oh, They wanted to. It's a tent. Okay. Right. So, yes, it's still made of fabric. So, mm. yeah, they can get in if they want to, but why would they? Okay. They like, really don't care about you okay. like, at all. And, like, the place is all ran by, like, local tribesmen as well. Okay. So they all know that animals are like their friends. Yeah. It's actually wild. <laughs> okay, okay. So a few questions here. Um, you obviously said you did three nights there. Yeah. Is there an option to do shorter, longer, um, or is three nights like the recommended when you go on the website? I, I, I think three nights is recommended just because you do sort of day, so morning, daytime, and night time drives. So okay, that you get to see everything at different times, and mm-hmm. obviously it's all very different. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think three days is enough. To be fair, I wouldn't necessarily go for longer just yeah, yeah, yeah. do like by the end of it i send a lot of lines yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just more lines really. okay so i think three days is probably okay even two two days if you drive for most of the day mm. it's fine and is there like once again like sorry i'm a big foodie like, it's all inclusive as well it's all inclusive so, yeah. there's like all chef chef in our buffet they chef wake in. you up at like 5 a.m singing with like a hot um flask of cocoa and then okay. they wrap you up in this thing and then you see like, okay. the sunrise all right and then on, sounds amazing on your jeep they have like um cool box of like champagne yeah, oh so okay it's, it's proper. So and is it just you in stuff. the car or you so with other people and another couple yeah. okay cool, um, cool. and, and that was cool tribes people that actually take yeah. you on the tour yeah yeah of so course, they're of always course. like oh Lou, this is lucy she's like chief lioness mm. like they know the animals like okay this. they live there yeah yeah of like, course of course of course local tribe, so it's that's, amazing. that's sick okay so you did three days you've seen plenty one thing that comes to my mind is 
are you just taking pictures on like an iPhone or do you like, do you need a camera? Do you need a certified camera for I a trip like a this? Camera. I don't think I used it that much, but okay. everyone, everyone else had cameras. I, we were rookies, we should have fair, had a camera really. I'm never going to look back at the pictures. It's in my what, head. What do you mean? It's in my nah, head. I look back. Exactly. Yeah, look. Like, I, we took pictures on our phones, but like, I think this is like a classic thing. Guys, they don't yeah, really I'm care. Yeah, I'm not. But yeah. No, I'm I haven't even looked at our off. wedding photos. That's a mad thing. Honestly. I've looked at your yeah. wedding photos and yeah, you've same. not looked at your wedding photos. Yeah. He's My like, goodness. I was there. I'll link, I'll link that as well. I'll link, um, <laughs> I'll link the Google Drive of pictures. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, okay. So that's... Um, safari. That's Safari. Before we get on to Tanzania, we'll, we'll come back to Josh and Lucy. Yeah, hit us with um, some of the activities you did. What, 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 what kind of stuck out for you both? Um... We did a lot of lying down um, yeah. and Relaxing. enjoying the view, mm. uh, eating, drinking. Um, but what we did do a lot of was snorkeling. And okay. you don't have to go on like a trip or anything. You literally just like wander off the edge of your water villa. Okay. Like just literally jump in off your patio and you're snorkeling with like the most amazing sea creatures. Okay. And like, I am such a water baby. Oh, yeah. Like I'm the happiest when I'm swimming. Like these guys know anytime we go on holiday, like if you need me, I'm in the pool. I'm in the sea um, and there was just yeah like just stingrays and sharks and mm. just it was really beautiful mm. but you could do that without the whole effort of actually like you know getting to a port and going on a boat and mm. packing a bag like you could just jump in do it for like 10 minutes and then lie down and drink champagne again did, you, did they like provide flippers and like wetsuits? Yeah, and yeah, you get stuff? you get one. Oh, you don't need a wetsuit. No, you need a wetsuit because it's, it's, it's hot as hell. Is, is, is it deep the sea? I mean, I know nah. that might be a silly question. Like, can you stand up in it for for those who can't swim? Yeah, further Jeez, you go, obviously. Come yeah. on, further come on. Go, I'm all about that standing up in the sea life. Yeah. All right. Yeah. They give you the they give you a map which shows like how where far to, you yeah. should go safely by yourself. Mm. Give you things like life jackets if you want Yeah, one. life mm. jacket, flippers and a snorkel mask. But we got one of those like full face snorkel masks yeah, on yeah, them and, and we got it on Amazon. And oh, it's Amazon. so good because like you don't have to even think about Breathing. holding the thing in your mouth. Mm. And like, it, it, that was a really good shout. S so, um, I mean, you, you speak about like relaxing a lot. Mm. What potential things could you have done that maybe you didn't well, do that we did the paddle boarding we did paddle boarding you can you can i think you can rent jet skis and go further out mm. visit can, other islands there's i mean they have a basically a cabin with all this stuff that you can all do the water oh, okay. um yeah it's water sports basically they do where we were they take you on a dolphin cruise oh we did do the dolphin cruise okay, yeah, yeah that, that, sounds, was that sounds amazing like yeah. when i was in mexico we we well i say we i did <laughs> but some of the boys they went to see flamingos and stuff like that so you can do well you said yeah. dolphins yeah. You're, just, yeah. you're just on this small boat and there's hundreds of dolphins just okay. going past that, yeah. that sounds amazing it was incredible did you have a camera I did. I'd, okay. I'd have like a camera camera. A camera I'm, camera. I'm a camera. Have you looked head. back at your photos? No. I have. Oh, okay. Classic. Here we go again. Here we go. Here we go yeah. <laughs> it's the, amazing because um, they do, they're doing like tricks and stuff because they're, I think they're just used to people being around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're, do you they're get also... To feed? Dolphins just like that. They're, yeah. They're very They're right. show off. Yeah. That's why, that's why dolphin is my spirit animal. Do you get to, <laughs> do you get to feed them? Do you get to feed them? Nah, they, they want to yeah. leave them in their natural kind you of... You don't okay. feed wild animals, oh, right? Okay, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, 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 sorry. Look, but they, they're, just, they're just we in the sea. We don't like, animals on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, um, but it, it is amazing. And they're, yeah, they're just the mo I've never seen so many dolphins in my life. It was incredible. Um, so a lot of what happens in the Maldives, it's uh, centred around oceanography, like yeah. sea. Yeah. Manta and just, re and just rela relaxing. Yeah, it. manta rays is a big thing. So they had lots of like manta ray excursions and stuff. I mean, we'd seen rays. Is that things that they can that can sting you? Stingrays can sting you. I don't and know if manta rays. Manta rays can. look like stingrays, but they're I think they're, they're massive. massive. You're Bunnel, fear monger. Yeah, yeah. bundle them things, man. You're like, what's gonna kill me on my Hell holiday? No. <laughs> 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 but, um, yeah. yeah, you can go on like trips to where you specifically search for specific um, animals. Mm. Um, but we were just perfectly happy with the ones locally to us, kind okay. of at you can our do resort. Tours of the capital, but being that mm. it's playing away again mm. yeah, we didn't feel the need to long. i think mm. some resorts are closer so like mm. boat ride, so it might be worth doing but to be honest if you go is all this stuff extra is it all part of the all-inclusive no that would have been something that they would arrange for you but you'd have to mm. pay have for the, the, the dolphin thing was included yeah, so they include that. Okay. yeah and the the all the snorkel stuff is included i think we paid like a tiny amount for the paddle boarding they do like a deposit case yeah but then right. like so much of it you can literally just yeah skip off the end of your water villa and then you're just with like amazing sea creatures you know what you're going there for yeah, yeah. You're, you're not go, going, you're going yeah. there to do loads of yeah. 
ventures and things. This might be like an uncultural question for me, and this is to both of you. In all of the hotels, and okay, maybe not the tent, but is there like a TV in your room? Yeah. There's okay. a TV and in the tent. So, uh, there's a TV in, in the tent yeah. as well? No, 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 Jeez. In the Look mornings, they have I don't every think single channel in the world. That's the whole... Uh, it's all inclusive for everything. Is Mad team. Is that when we got really so, into um, kabaddi? Yeah, like all sorts of I got weird so into kabaddi. <laughs> oh, that's the Indian sport, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah like I know tag. about that. Tag. Look, tag. we have to stay on. We have to stay <laughs> on because we could, we could, we could segue into that. We're coming back to you guys, okay? So um, we've spoken about Kenya. We've spoken about Maldives, Tanzania activities. What did you do? Um, oh, was, yeah. We well, well, we tried to go deep sea fishing. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Nearly didn't come back. Local. Is that right? <laughs> so actually, we found a local guide, which is what we did, who we did everything with. Mm. Um, so shout, shout him out, sorry. Zahor. Oh, yeah, hold um, Zahor. So he took us out. His boat's probably just a bit bigger than this table. Mm. It, yeah, a bit bigger than this table. And as wooden as this. And as wooden as this. Okay. Um, tiny motor. So we've gone out 6 a.m., maybe even earlier. No, it was like 4 a.m. they picked us up. Like pitch black. Um, That's and it's funny. rough. Yeah. Oh, it's it's wavy. Rough. It's rough. Like, I'm not even joking. Do you have life jackets on? It's one. <laughs> there was one. He, he had it. <laughs> wow. He was, at, he was like, I'll hang on to you. You can swim. I was like, great. Yeah. Wow. This time I couldn't swim like too too tough. Yeah. My swimming. Wow. I can swim now, but swim now. okay. My swimming wasn't too great then. This isn't the only swimming story we've got about James, but we're not even going to get into that yeah. right now. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. It's really like really rough. Like we're going up like that, smacking and down, almost free falling, and it's in the middle of the ocean. And yeah. is he calm, Zahor? He's he's sort of okay. He's I got mean, a, they're, he's... they're more used to it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, long story short, caught no fish. Decided <laughs> to turn back about an hour in. So constantly... they give you like a spear? No. So we had rods, but okay. we didn't even get them out. Like we. We holding off their life. Horrendous. We <laughs> oh kept on checking God. with each other. You okay, yeah? You having a good <laughs> time, yeah? You're, like, you're, like, you're, like, you're, like, you're looking at each other, smiling, like, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. having fun. Like, kind of being like, just in case, I, I love you. Like, <laughs> it was so <laughs> roofy. It was. Till yeah, death honestly, do us part. Well, Who knew yeah. it was going to happen so quickly? <laughs> on, 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 honestly, that. Like, if I look uh, at, like, if I think back now, that was actually. Basically, we just went on a local fisherman's boat. Yeah. Who, he had, like, no money. Like, Zanzibar's. Mm a high poverty country mm. and we were going with locals we wanted to put money in their pockets mm, of course so Hotel great 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 to do it. are so expensive mm. and just funding mm. some other german company or whatever mm. so we wanted to do it through them but if you do do it through them he basically called his fisherman friend and was like yo yeah, can they come out with you in can the they morning? come out with you yeah. and they were like yeah sure we've got one life jacket we were just like clinging on to this thing. authentic well, very boat. authentic. But so we yeah. did that. Yeah, that was that was fun. Uh, <laughs> we oh, we did a oh, tour of um, uh, yeah. Stone Town. Pri- yeah, and um, Slavery Island. So um, Prison Island. Prison Island. Okay. Prison Island. Is it not Slavery Island. Prison Island. Prison Sorry, Island. Yeah. it was um, one of the main ports of slavery okay. um, for Africa. Okay. So like most of the boats were, came off Africa to Zanzibar, where they kind of like pulled everyone together and then sent them to the US and stuff. Mad thing. Um, I mean, it was harrowing, as mm. you can imagine. But amazing to go to the island because they still had, like... Cause it was actually awful. But they, they still had, like, all the signs and everything oh from goodness. back then. It was like... Oh. There was, like, this one post that was, like, oh, the US was, like, I don't know, X miles that way, the UK is that way. And you, the, you could just imagine all these slaves were just trapped on this island just getting pushed know. into yeah, other yeah. boats have no idea what's happened but, yeah. and that that island was in operation way after a bullet um stavy was abolished, abolished mm. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but they they so. did so they've turned it into a tortoise conservation for giant tortoises yeah. oh wow <laughs> yeah. so yeah. you just saw loads of tortoises so, like, like as big as hundreds animal. of giant wow. tortoises everywhere. everywhere you could feed them and like okay. rub their what do you, you shell. Rub the, the yeah, shell some of them are like a hundred years old like oh wow winds out these yeah. um, just a random question I suppose for both what's the local currencies <laughs> Kenyan shilling in Kenya yeah um, knowledge well done uh, what was Tanzania that? dollars yeah, like that. yeah, Tanzanian, Tanzanian dollar. dollars. And in the Maldives? They, they have their own, but US dollars is yeah. what Oh, USD, uses. yeah. Everyone uses US. Yeah, everyone uses USD and pounds. Yeah. So, so were you like... We did, had everything. So were you like using Monzo? Did no. you load up the Monzo? This, I think there's no cash points in the resort. Yeah, yeah. it was... This is like... Yeah. You pay. It was you well, paying what's most favourable. have cards. Really okay. Dollars, Again, so. the local rates, everybody's making it up. They're trying to do mental arithmetic. Oh, so. a lot of haggling. 
not necessarily haggling, but it's it's ten pound if it's pounds. Mm. It might be twenty dollars if like it's oh, okay. <laughs> you get so it's whatever. They often lost out. <laughs> They're doing in that the maths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The maths yeah. Were a bit off. They know what they need. <laughs> the math wasn't mathing. That's yeah. what That's I always say. They need dollars at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do- they'll charge you dollars. So, so, so I suppose what you're saying to people traveling to those places is carry all different types of yeah. currency because yeah. you'll save you'll save the most money. Definitely out of in Africa in general, mm-hmm. carry and pounds and dollars mm-hmm. because way. you'll be able to spend that anywhere. Then when you get there, you can change into your into the local currency. And then in the Maldives, you're saying it's USD, but you can charge everything Re- on card. Re- remember, unless you've not done all inclusive, yeah, the only thing we're paying for is a tip at the end. Okay. And that's just yeah. US dollars in the room because yeah. you get your own, not quite like the butler that they had. Mm. You get a member of staff like assigned to use your host. You leave them a tip, whatever they do with it, they do with it as a group. Otherwise, everything's covered. Okay. And um, this is a question to all of you, I'm not just going to ask this to the guys. Obviously, this is your honeymoon, right? Were there any like um, like grand gestures? That were made on the holiday. Like, ask so, something no, very no, different. no, 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 come on. This is like a PG <laughs> podcast, man. Come on. I don't even know what you're talking about, Lucy. But anyway, no, like, so like James or Josh, you know, Lucy, Beth, like, yeah, was like, was like a dinner, like a candlelit dinner on any, on any nights, yeah. like, any way that you can recommend to people listening to the podcast if they want to, you know, you know, wow, I mean, wow, wow, they're, think, wow, they're partner. I wore a terrible t shirt for an evening. That to me was a very <laughs> crap gesture. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I was going to say the under the sea uh, restaurant. Yeah, but then it okay. was pretty but grand. Being serious, yeah. we treated ourselves to doing that restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not at a price point that we would normally go to a restaurant in London mm. for that level. Mm. Like, I'm not going to Salt Bay in Knightsbridge right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I hear and you. it's And you're, t- you're talking that kind of thing. That kind of price, but yeah. It's yeah. a one off. Did you just not even care as well, or was you looking at the menu it's, thinking it's, it's a tasting menu, so it's a one. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, you know when you're going in, what it's going to cost you. Yeah, we'd, oh, okay. we'd already paid it, but we yeah. were like, yeah, it, it is some persuasion. Yeah, yeah. We needed some, yes, <laughs> some we external persuaded. help. Yeah, yeah. It didn't take much it's persuading. Hun- it's, it's honeymoon, honeymoon. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on, you got to go all out. And and yourselves, any 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 gestures, any special dinners? Well, I mean, let's not. It's all special. No, Let me just say it like that. Different. Like, um, I seem to be quite activity based. So mm-hmm. we discussed. We went on like the walking tour in the safari, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Which is like, an additional cost. Where mm-hmm. basically you you pay a local tribesman to uh, walk you around in the outback, and they have yeah. like a spear. You're just like walking around like I was a giraffe right there. Because normally in your jeep, that's a little bit necky. Um, mm. And then in Zanzibar, we did the sunset cruise, didn't we? Mm. Where like a local man, like kind of with his... Little rowboat. Little rowboat. A bit of um, champagne. Like, did you have to row or was he rowing? No, he okay. rowed us oh, okay. to like this little island off. You, you don't love a boat. So the, the, the deep island. fishing didn't put you off. Love a boat. Yeah, the deep, he loves the, a boat. The deep sea fishing didn't put you off. That wasn't the best boat we've been on. <laughs> <laughs> that honestly was an experience in itself. Like... Of, of near death yeah of course sounds like you wanted to start your lives together by ending your life together <laughs> and then um, you spoke about driving all the way back through was it Zanzibar or Kenya Kenya yeah. okay so yeah how was that talk me through that like how did that come about so you paid 350 for the flights um, to to where uh, to to Masamara to Masamara so and now you've driven from Masamara back to Nairobi okay so I, th- I think it's in terms of how it was, so we decided to do it because we wanted to see more of the country. Mm. Um, obviously, you see a bit when you're flying, but it's quite a quick flight. So in terms of just getting a feel for what the land is like, yeah, driving. The first probably 45 minutes, the roads were trash. Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah. It's the just, boat all over again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were looking at each other like, oh, like eight hours. If this, this is the whole oh way, it's going to be so it's long. bad. But then you get to a bit but then of infrastructure. You, like, you hit proper roads. Yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Um, yeah, just really, really nice to drive through and like there's kids running about waving at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waving at me. See, <laughs> see, uh, yeah, someone of lightest in tones. Um, all very exciting for them. Mm. Um, it was a good learning for us though. We said if we go back, we'd like bring like school books, colouring yeah. pens mm. and like sweets or whatever. Oh, amazing. Yeah. They're just in like these tiny villages. They don't have access to any. They're of, just like, the disconnected world. almost, aren't they? Yeah. Of course they are, but like they would still love a lollipop right? mm. and they'd love a coloring book. They don't have yeah. these resources and it would have been like, what, 20 quid for us to pack loads? Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot to them. So, yeah, just, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to like, on that point, if you're going to these places, obviously there's a chance that you can, you know, meet local villagers and stuff like that. 
pack some stuff. Yeah, definitely. pack some stuff and do a good yeah. do a good thing. I I, get, I actually gave my camera to the um to the guide. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. To our oh. yeah our tribesmen. Oh wow. I, I didn't use it. Though. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. You obviously like this stuff. So yeah. 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 And it was that's yeah. so nice. Something that I think you have to remember when you go to any of these places. It's not just you know in Africa in the Maldives people live yeah. very poorly mm. Yeah. Mm. and people are going there and. Spending, spending an extortion amount, amount of money yeah. yes, and they're and then, make in their lifetime and then yeah. one thing i noticed when you go on the seaplane it, it flies low mm. so you go through there are islands that are just village islands mm. and people aren't living in any sort of there's no country. shelter it's, no it's, toilet it's, no sanitation it, 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 there is but it's still like the difference so in, lots, in, yeah. it's, poverty, it's so basic yeah. and it's the same in you know, all these places in the caribbean that people go to it's the same yeah. mm. so i think that's probably why those people were annoying us so much when they were being so demanding and the people are so nice mm. Mm. People, people were taking that as a chance to basically take liberties in our opinion yeah yeah yeah. because yeah. people are they're doing it because they want to earn a living yeah, and, yeah of you course. Know, they tell you their stories and they've got mm. you know they'll come and live on the on the resort for four days at a time and then go away home. from yeah. their family to earn money oh, back okay. for a day mm. and then come back they have like um staff quarters basically yeah that's how they're living to make money and then and the tips and stuff are they go a long way yeah yeah definitely. and i suppose in in, in the honeymoon I, I i think you guys have kind of answered this already but for you you said you tip them at the end of the trip or is it something that you were doing like no you you do it at the end i think just because it's a bit long well, tipping well, no, someone well, every minute you well, know what so i mean we, <laughs> no, the we, same person that, okay. that who is your host yeah. um so you've got that consistency throughout yeah. We didn't see him that much because we weren't very he, demanding. He was like searching us out to ask if we could yeah, do more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, was like, he was like, "Are you guys okay?" And we were like, "We are golden. Don't worry <laughs> yeah. about us." Yeah, so yeah. You just there's a they leave a book for feedback card and they leave a slot and you just put it oh, okay, in. nice. And for you tipping as you go or you've given your camera at the end there. So we were tipping as we we were tipping as we went for like some stuff if we weren't going to see the people again. Mm. But I think in the hotels it was just when we were leaving. Yeah. Okay. We kind of put more, just put money in people's pockets directly, didn't we? A little mm. bit that we made friends with one guy in our hotel in Zanzibar. Yeah, yeah. So like again, our host was very, very good. Yeah. To mm. us, so. Same as Mufasa as well. Mufasa, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And like, oh, we in, we, yeah, yeah. Literally everything. In Zanzibar, I couldn't matata. Couldn't matata just <laughs> means like you know. Means no, no worries. No worries. Yeah. It's yeah. like oh, thank you, and they'd be like, I couldn't no, matata. matata, and you'd okay. honestly be like, oh, this it's such a weird feeling. That is pure mm. Disney language, magic, right? Yeah. <laughs> and they are just the like nicest people, and obviously they're in quite a poverty-stricken country, mm. and they have like one of the best jobs in the islands. They're mm. so grateful to be there as well. Mm. They, there's nothing they won't do for mm. you, um, and I think probably similar to you, we were guests they weren't used to having. Mm. The mixed race was probably one thing that was like new to them, but also we weren't, we were we weren't not, I should say we were nice, but we were polite and very grateful for decent everything. Decent people. We were decent, yeah. and we were like. <laughs> you, you like feel like you didn't want to put we them like, out at midnight. To, we're not getting to know them. Like, yeah. oh, like, tell us about you. Like, where do you mm. live? How long have you lived here? Like, what tell us Good people. I only have mm. good people on this podcast. <laughs> if your attitude stinks, you ain't coming on the <laughs> podcast, okay? If you're spending like eight or nine K on a holiday, you should yeah. probably put some money back in people's pockets. So exactly. You, exactly. Don't make that in 10 years. So. That's, that's true. And, um, Oh, what was I going to say? It's totally skipped my mind. But um, another question I wanted to ask you both. So obviously this was your honeymoon. It's like, you know, once in a lifetime, hopefully. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It will be once in a lifetime. But it's like, um, if you could do it again, what is there something that you want to advise to people? If people have listened to this and gone, all right, I want to go to Zanzibar and Kenya. Is there one thing you're like, oh, damn, like we missed a trick here. And, you know, you wish someone told you. And, and the same for the Maldives. I, I can say with us, we would have done Sri Lanka yeah oh, okay because we've always wanted to go and it was that was a place we were I mean Ari was doing anyway yeah and then we realized you could combine them mm. so mm. obviously yeah. the reason we could do it was terrible and obviously you know that was the most horrific thing that happened mm. we obviously had to change our plans we would have loved to be able to go but and just just, just on changing your plan I know we we spoke a little bit before um you touched upon doing a mini moon as well so because we did the registry mm. we didn't know what we'd be doing and because we didn't pre-book as Lucy said yeah we didn't know where we'd be going and when and because of the Maldives the six months after our wedding 
is basically when you shouldn't go because mm. it rains the whole time. Yeah. Um, so we had to wait anyway. Okay. But we also didn't want to go through the whole build up to a wedding and then go straight back to work. So we were quite diva-ish and because we were hopeful that everyone else was paying for our honeymoon, mm. we put a little bit aside, found a really good deal to go to New York and did like a four day short trip. Mm -hmm. Which I was ill the whole way through, so maybe oh, that's gosh, karma yeah. for being greedy. <laughs> I had a great trip, yeah. Josh, not so much. Yeah. Where did you guys go? You went to New York. Went to you New said York. right, and that was just yeah. something yeah. to nice. get away and we love by yourself and switch away from yeah. everyone that you know. So was that immediately yeah. after the wedding? We that one. Went, I think wedding was on the Saturday. Went on the Monday. See, like you know the things you see in the film, right? Where like they drive into the sunset and then you go on your honeymoon. That don't really happen in, in theory. Well, so well, you no. did the Saturday to Monday, which but is very close. Like what about you guys? Oh, we were like two months after. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we were, yeah, two months after. So, like, so, so people listening to this, wanting to plan your honeymoon, like I think one thing you've got to take from this podcast, just be practical, right? Because yeah. these things are going to cost a lot of money. So, so don't put yourself out of pocket for no reason. Yeah, just so you but, go. But also, I mean, like you've obviously, so you've just had your wedding you're going to want to debrief with your mates, chat to people, your mm. family. All mm. People might have travelled in to see you, so you need to be around mm. for a little bit after the wedding to still see people mm. and just yeah. catch up. Because really, at the wedding, you're, you're not, not, really you're not seeing people. people. You're seeing them for 10 minutes and like you're off again. Sort of yeah, thing. So yeah, 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 yeah. Having that break is actually really important. And okay. it means you're sort of over the whole wedding hype. Yeah. So mm. you can just enjoy yourself. People aren't messaging you really, talking mm. about the wedding and all that sort of stuff. So mm. it's... Yeah, the break's important. You do get sick of talking about your own wedding. Yeah. Like, so that two-month break, by well, the time we got to the honeymoon... Nice. We were just talking about us and, like, mm. future plans. And, like, mm. we did quite a lot of that. We weren't talking about, oh, do you remember at the wedding when so-and-so... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's done. We had a great time. Let's talk about what we're doing moving forward. Yeah. Which was nice. But I would say, if you aren't doing the gift registry thing that obviously Benson and Lucy were doing, don't wait to book your holiday after your honeymoon after your wedding uh, yeah i think yeah. it's a big mistake because after your wedding you will be broke mm. and you will think it's irresponsible to book a really expensive holiday and then you will end up like compromising on what mm. you do because this you're is a big to be sensible. Yeah. or you'll end up not going we definitely yeah. would have done that i know yeah. that if we hadn't booked it <laughs> maybe so, not but we it was like in the month's wedding planning we weren't only engaged eight months so we mm. did everything very quickly and mm. we had a big wedding as you know so the Pretty much, we to try and enjoy the wedding planning. We put the honeymoon, honeymoon got it out of the way. It. Honeymoon hack, folks. <laughs> book the thing. Yeah. Book the thing and then get married. All right. Don't we'll worry. Get your guests to pay well, for it for I, you. I yeah. think if you're not doing a gift registry, you have to budget it into your wedding budget. Yeah. 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 It's part because, of it. Yeah. I know it's not a wedding it podcast, but it will. Your, so you, your... you're not doing the gift registry? No, oh. we did, but we just did cash. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so no, but so, so like we had a registry, yeah. Yeah. and it was like so you we had stuff on the honeymoon like uh, the sunset cruise and all these all yeah. sorts of things, but actually you're just giving money. Mm. So just helping. Can I can yeah. I can I just say something on gift registries? I'm not going to say whose it was. It wasn't any of your weddings, but recently I've paid into another gift registry, and like the way gift registries work, you can pretend to pay for something, but really you're just giving them money. Yeah. Can you believe there was teens that were selling out? Like, there was like one thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, you can't pay for this dinner. They're, they're, it's sold out. What do you, you got, mean? Yeah. You've got to keep up the facade that you're actually you know, paying for. It was the amount. Uh, it's probably the amount. Yeah, yeah. No. So that amount is They didn't buy any more 20 pounds. No, 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 no. It was up, it was up, it was up, it was up. Um, and, Same uh, thing, cough It up. was up, it was up, can I just say. Um, but yeah, I just I just found that so funny in the gift registry. I will say, and then, yeah, you guys will back me, gift registries are a godsend, right? They take a lot of pressure off. There's no guarantee on how much you're going to get from people, but you know you're getting a little saying, you know, if you've chosen the right people in your life, you know, up until this point, then you should get something that helps to um, to soften the blow, yeah. right? So with that, you know, normally we talk about um, loading up the Monzo. This one, we're not loading up the Monzo, mm. but if we're talking ballpark for the two types of things we did. So Maldives, and you can you can say a very wide ballpark, you, can, you know, you can be quite, you know, what... Talk to me about pricing in just in, in its totality for everything, roughly. I think where where we're concerned, there is 
quite a range you can do and so give us the whole range on, yeah it'll depend on who you're going with because what i was surprised by was lots of families go to the maldives which i think is very bougie for a mm-hmm. family holiday but he is long you know, if you've who got are it, these yeah. families but Three you and then even within your resort there are things like do you want to pay for this villa this villa this villa this villa so you can go anywhere really from four low end for good awning for like yeah. to start to be decent up i mean you can go up to like anything six Unlimited. figures if you want yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i, but hear that. I, I hear think that. for a honeymoon in a really nice place for 10 you're looking at about 10 grand for everything flights hotel flight resort vibe vibe. essentially with yeah. your flights yeah, included yeah, in that and it is and again there are ranges and some resorts are ridiculous mm. uh, but there's those will be like 50 people mm. your mm. villa is like a town yeah yeah, yeah. no no i hear you, <laughs> I hear you. you know you some you, you'll see on just on social media i think no this is good for people to hear right because sometimes you just need to mentally prepare yourself for these things because if you just start planning it like late like you said Mm. then this is going to hit you out of nowhere so it's really good to hear that i also think you can bury your hand your head in the sand and think you can go to the maldives for two grand as a couple you can but you'll get there and your expectations b-tech maldives Maldives. but you'll be better off going to like mexico and going to the best resort there Mm. and it's not to like Ooh, if you go there here. if you go there you got to do it properly that's always my thing like if I go on holiday do it like, even though we talk about loading up the Monzo but there's no there's no penny like, I'm not looking at my account you know what I mean I'm going all yeah. out I'm mm. yeah maybe you know it's not always the smartest and, and but, if yeah. you can't just don't go like, exactly. Just, exactly. exactly just find an alternative be, time to be go. financially yeah. responsible yeah. we had a plan yeah. B if we didn't hit a certain amount because we knew it wouldn't be good exactly because we like that then yeah. it would have just been we've gone because we said we were going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so and just keep it to yourself as well. You don't even need to be talking to people about what you're doing, innit? What you do is what you do. Um, and yeah, so what about you guys? Just ballparks as well. We don't have to talk like exact. Well, I looked at the, um, you know, I told you at the beginning when we did, we asked the honeymoon people Yeah, 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 yeah. to provide us a quote. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. What are the honeymoon people quoting you? They quoted us 14. Okay. With like we could upgrade to, that was like basic package yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a luxury package right? yeah. so you're obviously staying five star everywhere safari mm. whatever but we actually ended up doing it for more like seven, yeah i think eight. about seven eight ish probably more like eight yeah um plus. just booking everything yourself yeah because yeah. we got the bride so and basically, that's a big yeah. saving so that's yeah, a big hat they were cashing into saving on our behalf these mm. honeymoon people right but if you do it directly, we just got the saving. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Also, of course. we lucked out with our hotel. Wow. So we actually booked a different hotel. They cancelled last minute and moved us to a better hotel. Oh, wow. Okay. So, again, that hotel was even more expensive. So, mm. yeah. And I know Zanzibar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that. It's so. not what we paid for it. It's actually extremely expensive, as you okay. can imagine. Yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Course. Like so, of course. We did shift. get very lucky there as well. Yeah, but yeah I, th- I think really the honeymoon yeah five upwards you'll probably be okay mm. in most countries prob- not not the maldives Mm-mm. not the seychelles Mm-mm. but most places mm. you'll probably get by um but yeah just have extra unless you want to do like life like once in a lifetime activities like yeah. safari and things you yeah so we could have done like safari and hot air balloons and like hot air yeah so hot air balloon up and all that but that was yeah. like another six hundred dollars yeah it's like, not each. Yeah, it's not necessary uh, it's not necessary yeah, yeah. so you can obviously level it up but, yeah. but you can't put a price on love folks so no i'm joking <laughs> you know with me look who knows who knows when i when i eventually get married yeah we'll see i'm gonna come into all these things so guys now nah, this has been this has been a great episode you know typically what i would do at this point is say you know your trip what are you rating out of 10? I don't think I need to ask you because this is your honeymoon. Well, it's a once in a tens. lifetime. There we go. It's tens all round. It's tens a bit like it's a bit like the, the NBA board. NBA slam dunking contest. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So with that, any any closing thoughts, guys? Is there anything that we've missed off? Anything that you, you want to let the listeners um, in on before we kind of wrap up for today? Um start as you mean to go on yeah start as you mean do to go on and then go do you know what this is lit exactly yeah. don't stop there let's do some that's, more fun things no but that's a massive married. thing like honeymoon isn't like that's not it 
yeah, people, this is the relationship counselling me coming out. That's the start of many wonderful holidays. Maybe not at the price point, but you got you got to enjoy life, man. Yeah. You got to enjoy life. Like the marriage is the real adventure. There it is. The bars Jeez. are just getting but the bars are just getting Jack, dropped. What I will say is, <laughs> with the wedding, the honeymoon, the marriage, everything, you do you. Yes, People exactly. are always going to put their two cents in with their advice. Mm. Do what works for you as a couple. Look at that. We just hit you with not only travel advice but just life advice Bars. out of nowhere. Bars. And yeah, guys, <laughs> with that, like, I want to just um, thank each and every one of you for for taking the time to join us um two couples lucy and beth you did it you know the first Yay! females on the Thank podcast you. you lot smashed it <laughs> um just before i let you guys go if you've listened up to this point please like subscribe share comment at vibes and tribes underscore um, and with that i've been your host bio this is vibes and tribes over and out Woo. bye, bye. <laughs>